In the last couple of days, I made a video about setups. And by the way, in that video, you have a gaming PC giveaway. So if you want a new PC for free, click the video in the top right of the screen. Back to the topic of this video, every setup that I made had this Razer microphone, which is the Razer Siren Mini. So I decided to buy it and review it for you guys. That is why today we are going to see the Razer Siren Mini review. In the description of the video, you have a kit where you have this product, the microphone stand and the pop filter. But of course, if you are going to buy the microphone only, that's completely fine. I bought both of these products to make a review about it. And I'm going to show you as well if you really need this pop filter with the microphone stand. First, we are going to start by looking at the design. In my opinion, it has a really nice design because it's really small and can fit in every desk. So that's a pro in my opinion, but of course, you can judge by yourself. I bought the black version, but you have three different options. You can choose the black, the white or the pink version. Another thing that I've noticed is that it's not heavy at all. Like, believe me, this thing is not heavy. My first impressions about this product were actually really good. But what really matters is the quality of the product. That is why I'm going to do a microphone test. Like, I'm using this microphone right now, but I edited it a little bit with the application Voice Meter, which is really easy to do. But I'll let you hear what it sounds like straight out of the box. So this is what it sounds like straight out of the box with no editing, nothing. You buy the microphone, plug it in and start talking. I have the microphone level at 68 because with the microphone stand, I have it just next to my mouth, but the volume can go really high. This is what it sounds like at a hundred percent. So now usually this question comes to mind. Do you need the microphone stand? Do you need the pop filter? Well, if you don't care that your microphone is just next to your mouth, if you're not going to use your face in videos or streamings, then yes, it's worth it. Because when you lower the volume of the microphone and you have it next to your mouth, you are going to have less background noise. But if you're going to have it on your desk and you don't want it close to your mouth or you want to use your face, you don't want a microphone stand to cover all over your face, then you should just buy the microphone. And of course, higher the volume a little bit. Okay, now that I talked about the microphone stand, let's talk about the pop filter. Well, the kit that I bought came with a pop filter and a windscreen. You may ask, what's the difference? Well, you want the pop filter if you're going to have the microphone next to your mouth and you want the windscreen if you're going to have it in your desk. So for example, you want to do a video or a podcast showing your face, then you want the windscreen. But if you're going to have it next to your mouth, you want the pop filter. I found better results with it. And if you're wondering what this does, basically it makes your voice cleaner. Now let's talk about the cons. We talked about the pros, like it has a great quality, but we didn't talk about the cons. One con that I found is that it doesn't have a mute button. But wait, don't panic. You can actually download an application, which is really easy to download, where you set a key and you can mute your microphone. But if you really care, then you should go ahead and buy the HyperX solo cast. But for me, it's not really worth it because the solo cast is $10 more expensive just for a mute button. Because the audio quality, it's pretty similar. And I don't know, I don't think it's worth $10 more, a button that I can download for free in less than two seconds. Now I'm going to show you what came inside of the microphone box and the microphone stand box. Sorry, but I had to do that. Well, inside the microphone box, it comes with a USB, of course, the support of the microphone and the microphone itself. Oh, and some Razer stickers. And inside the microphone stand and pop filter, it comes with the pop filter, windscreen and the microphone stand. So I do think it's a really complete kit that I would definitely go for if I'm starting on YouTube or Twitch. This is a really, really good budget option. So for the conclusion, we have that it has a really good quality, it's really cheap for a good microphone, so if you are thinking of buying one, I do think that you should go for this one to start, because actually Razer did a really good job with this microphone. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe, you will be helping me a lot if you do. 
Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you have a PC giveaway, so if you want a gaming PC for free, you should go watch that video and enter. You may win. Who knows, right? So if you liked it, please subscribe, leave a like, and a comment about what you think about this microphone. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.